Hey guys, today we're going to cover applying modifiers. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. In this lesson, we'll continue to use the file that we had been working on in the previous lesson. And if you don't have that file, you should be able to find a link here near this video where you can download this file. So go ahead and do that and then open it up and you'll be right back in the same spot that I am. As a review again, we've already added a bevel modifier. So that's where we click on the wrench tab. We clicked on add modifier. We have a bevel modifier going here. And in this lesson, we're gonna talk about what do we do if we actually want the geometry of this bevel to show up so we can work with it? And so what I mean by that is over here, make sure you've clicked once on this object to select it and press tab to switch to edit mode. Then over in the bevel modifier, just to make this clear again, let's go ahead and click on the display icon here so that that modifier is no longer showing its effect here in the viewport. And we see what we have here for underlying geometry. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And now, back to the lesson. Now let's say we thought to ourselves, there was a few beveled faces here and I would like to actually manipulate those faces that I saw in the modifier. Well, they're clearly not here in edit mode, so I can't use any of my edit tools on those faces. In those cases where you actually want the underlying geometry to be there from the modifier, you have to actually apply that modifier. So here's what I mean by that. Press tab again to go back to object mode. Come back over to the bevel modifier. Let's turn it on again so we can see it. So click on that display icon there. And in object mode, over here there's another little down arrow just to the right of the camera. Go ahead and click on that. And you'll see up top here it says apply. Go ahead and click on apply. Once you click on apply, it looks like that modifier disappeared. But what happened is it actually applied itself so that now you have done a destructive edit. This is like you added a bevel without a modifier at all. So now if you come back over here and press tab on your keyboard to get back to edit mode, notice that you do have all these underlying edges that you could work with. So not that you'd necessarily do this, but press three across the top row of numbers on your keyboard, hold down shift and let's click to select these three faces and then keep shift key held down. Let's click and select each of these faces here. And then these three faces here. Plus just for fun, keep that shift key held down and let's pick all these outside faces here. And then orbit around and let's do the same with these outside faces here. And then you can scroll your mouse wheel backwards. If you need some time to select all of that stuff, you can pause here. And then once you have that all selected, let's press E for extrude. Then press X for the X direction. And let's go ahead and extrude that out a bit and then click to finish that. So had we left the modifier intact, we wouldn't have had this underlying geometry to make this little tiny edit here. So the benefit of applying a modifier is that you get access to that underlying geometry. The downside, of course, is now I can't go back and continue to edit that object in a non-destructive way or that modifier in a non-destructive way and continue to make changes. So in general, you want to leave things as a modifier for as long as possible, maybe even all the way through and never apply it. Or you just want to leave it that way as long as possible. And then when you're sure that you no longer need to make edits to that underlying object or to that modifier, you can apply it. By applying it, you then get access to that underlying geometry. So really the only time to apply it is if you feel like there's some edits you would like to make to the geometry that the modifier created. There might be some other cases and we'll cover those on a modifier by modifier basis. But for now, you understand how to apply a modifier 
and you're ready to move on to the next lessons where we'll start talking about some of the most popular modifiers and dig into the details of each one and how to use it. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending. Thank <laughs> you.